rocking. I don't know who invented these things, but love it. Hope you're all doing really well. I'm doing really well. I have become a father. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Can't believe it. Um, things have been really interesting for me. We have a one week old today. She turned. She's beautiful. Um, I never thought, I never knew what it was like to hold something so divine in my hands and catch something straight out of a portal. And so, yeah, it's been a really interesting week. Really interesting week. Um, today, tonight, it's just turned 11 p.m. here. Tonight, I'm going to talk about something really interesting. We're going to talk about coconuts. It's tonight's topic. If you don't, if you don't know about coconuts, we're not talking about coconuts at all. So, um, what do I want to talk about? So one month ago, exactly one month ago, we started up Reindeer Amanita and got our first order. And yeah, it's been really, really interesting taking this path. It's always been the path that I've been on. Herbcraft, it's something that is very embedded into my soul. I've always been deeply connected to the jungle and I just kept looking, kept looking through her to find my way. And I have had a lot of experience with a lot of power plants. And I never thought I would find myself on the path of Amanita, the one that I call the one. Um, a lot of people say, what about this? And what about that? And one thing I love to say is good luck rubbing ayahuasca on external pain and having it diminish instantly. So some, some substance is really good for internal use and sub some substance is really good for external use. But there's only one substance, there's only one substance that's really good for both. And it's Amanita. And it's like, I can't say enough how interesting it is that the word Amanita, the etymology of the word literally means connected to protection. So one month we turn today and I've blown up my happy birthday balloon because happy one month to Ranger Amanita. And yeah, so we have done nearly 400 orders in one month. So we're aver averaging around 15 orders a day. And we have everything posted the next day. So that's something that I never want to change. I want to get it to where it needs to go as soon as possible. And one thing that's really important that I want to talk about is caps or powder. So the difference between the caps, um, I will be changing on the website in brackets, whole mushroom, whole dried mushroom, because caps are not capsules. I would never deal into that world. I don't know why anybody ever puts mushrooms into caps. It's just strange. Um, so I will be updating that. I don't know why I didn't do it two weeks ago, but caps, whole dried mushrooms or powder. So for tinctures, 
I definitely recommend using the caps, the whole dried mushrooms. This is how they get sent. Because it just seems to work so much better. That's not to say that you can't make tinctures themselves, oil-based and alcohol-based medicines. That's not to say that you can't do that with the powder. But the powder, so a lot of people prefer using caps for external use and other uses. Um, that would be me. However, my favorite is powder. And the reason why I prefer powder is because some whole mushrooms, some whole dried mushrooms, they have less ibotenic acid than others. So you might get five whole dried mushrooms and they have close to nothing of the content of ibotenic acid that breaks down into the muscimol, which is what gives it its psychoactive effect. Whereas when you're mixing a lot of whole cap mushrooms together, you get a more balanced effect of muscimol. So if you're going to be microdosing, I definitely recommend going the powder. And if you're ever going to make your first order, I highly recommend going for 60 grams because it's cheaper. And 30 grams, you will be sad within two weeks doing half a gram in the morning, half a gram at night. Within two weeks, you won't have any amount to do a jump. So that's just my personal take on caps or powder and size amount. So if you're starting off, 30 grams will take you straight through the door, no questions. But if you want to do it properly, you need to take micro amounts firstly, and you need to do that for about a week minimum. You need to do half a gram on your toes externally. You need to do half a gram in the morning, half a gram at night before you go to bed because she mediates and moderates the body and she purges out all of the toxins. And it's not a neurological substance. It's a, it's an atom, it's an anatomical substance. So she works on the whole body system and she clears out everything, not just traumas, but physical problems as well. So you will not find any medicine in the jungle that works holistically on the whole body. Amanita muscaria does that. So I hope that answers some questions for people who will be looking into the future to make an order. And yeah, just again, like we've been doing around an average of 15 orders a day and we've only just begun so by august we are going to be relatively cheaper than we have been as a startup we're already the cheapest in the world and i will change the market price of amanita muscaria so basically no one's going to go to the other suppliers because Look at something like marijuana. There is a market value to this. Who sets the market value? Do you think it's the gangsters on the street? Do you think it's the you and me that organizes these prices? No. The black nobility organizes the price of all per ounce items in society. And no one should be paying $300 an ounce for flowers of any degree, of any form. So... I'm surprised that someone hasn't been able to come out and change the market value of that. But my aim with Amanita, because I believe that it belongs to everybody, my aim with reindeeramanita.com is to um, change the market value of Amanita Muscaria, particularly, because she's the most common strain. And there's no reason why she should have the prices that other people are charging for it. So we are the cheapest in the world and we set out to make the market so much cheaper by August. And so I wasn't going to do too much 
of an extensive live. I wasn't going to be answering any questions. I just wanted to jump on and yeah, so if anybody is interested in helping us, the more the better. The more people that we can get involved in this and stretch it and spread it to the world. This is a mental healing facility. This is something that completely changes the life of so many people. And if you have had, um, if you've had experience through her, with her, in whatever way, please make some form of testimony. Please just put it out there. Um, you don't have to come to us to forage your Amanita, like to, to re receive it. You can wait until it's in season in your area. My aim isn't to sell through distribution of Amanita. My aim is to get it out there that it's not something to be scared of. So yeah. Um, what else can I conjure in my mind on the rocking chair? I think that's really all I wanted to say for now. I think this rocking chair needs a bit of an oil. Other than that, I hope you're all really well. I hope life is getting you by like a treat. Ever since the um, ever since the pandemic with an L begun, I have never done so well in my life. Through the whole COVID crisis, we had a baby in the belly, so we never had anything to worry about. We were never like, oh, what's happening in the world? Everyone's going mad. Like we had an intention and focus on a little one being raised into the world. So it's really beautiful that we were blessed with something so divine that has been with us all the way. And it's really interesting. Um, I want to do a post in a couple of days on her zodiac alignment can't believe it. Like, I can't believe her alignment in the Zodiac. Like, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I'll make a post about it. It's like, just insane how we birthed out this amazing being in probably the most important alignment in a long time coming and a long time gone. So yeah, throughout the period where everyone's gone into lockdown, I saw a lot of chaos in people's mind and I just kept rocking. Nothing bothered me because I knew it was coming. I knew that lockdown was coming 15 years ago. And It was no surprise to me. I wasn't like, what's going on? Like, what's happening in the world? Is this, no, this is, this, is this a real pandemic? It's just like, I knew what was going on and I was fortunate to know. And so everyone in the world knows what happened in Victoria, in Australia. It was um, prison planet. It was like the worst place to be on earth through any of your world lockdowns. And all the Victorian people, all the Melbourne people were like, like I was living in Melbourne at the time and all the Melbourne people were like, what's happening in the news? What are the projections? What's being said about what's coming on this date? A week before they closed the borders, we packed our shit, got in the bus and drove. And like, Please don't judge me, but my bus didn't even have number plates and we just drove. No one pulled us over. I'm blessed by the stars. And 
like nothing stopped us. And so when Melbourne came out of lockdown, we went back, chased the good vibes in Melbourne and a week before the lockdown again, we were out of there. So while everyone was like, what's going on? What is going on? So if you want to know what's going on and like you can't see with clarity what's in front of you, which is really hard for some people, start microdosing, get onto it and take the jump because she's not going to hurt you. And I say that from my heart with confidence because the, the purpose of nature, because nature has a purpose, everything has a cause and effect. Cause is purpose. The cause of nature is harmony and nature is working in equilibrium as much as possible at every single moment. So while everyone's like, shit, I need toilet paper, oil and pasta like you don't need toilet paper pasta or oil just chill the fuck out and everything will be fine so just get in your bus with no number plates and drive anyways so yeah throughout the whole crisis that's been going on nothing really bothered me and so we were like, I was like, I don't even want to be in Australia anymore because I spent like the last 10 years chasing sacred sites and just realizing how much destruction there is. And for a very long time, many years, I had a lot of people that were like, where can I go to meet an elder that can teach me everything? But don't you understand that the Inquisition has come and gone? You think that the original Australians, call them the Aboriginals, if you think the Aboriginals chose that flag that they have as their flag, if you believe they chose that flag, my God, look at the East, the old East German flag. It's the same flag that was raised during the Holocaust in Germany, but the difference between the Ab original flag and the old East German Holocaust flag was the Freemason compass where the sun is in the Aboriginal flag. So hello, nobody chooses their flags and you can't go to many places in Australia or any tribal regions of the world to find that elder by the river to smoke a pipe with and to receive the wisdom because a they're not going to give it to you you need to work your way up to that trust with them and b the first thing that was taken out was the elders and the medicine men so do you want to know what they knew just seek and you shall find it's that simple nothing is new under the sun and that saying comes from astrology so if you don't know astrology, if you don't know herbcraft, if you don't know, not necessarily know, but it is a knowing because you know through it. If you don't have a connection to nature, creating knowingness, I don't know why you are here because I know you are in misery. You are in misery if you do not know the stars the plant domain and all that is that surrounds you in nature. I've got to get out of the city. Hello. She's still under the concrete. She's still underneath the concrete. When you live in the city, she can hear you. The nature is conscious and she can hear you. So when you say, I want to get out of the city and go to the nature, nature is all through it and all through everything. It runs through you. And you think that, you need to take your crystals outside to charge them in the moonlight. You think that tin roof is going to stop the impenetrable light of the moon going and radiating through that tin sheet. 
go and put your crystals out in the moon and go and put your rocks out in the sun and moon because she penetrates everything, all of that is. So we've just got to twist back the truth and we've got to get through the door and she will take you through the door. It's not about who knows more or who knows less. If you don't have a connection to the divine through nature, why are you here? Because spirituality is just a word, but being in the element, understanding the elements that come from the zodiac, it's knowing and it gives us everything that we need. So what else can I say? Yeah, I just feel really blessed to have this new member in our family. She's such an angel. She doesn't kick and scream and cry all day. She's just calm, relaxed, silent, and she's just an angel. She's just a beautiful angel. And... I have to be careful of what I say because if the government, if the, the government and the medical industry ever found out that we willingly home birthed, who knows what they would say, but we didn't willingly home birth. It just happened that way. You never know where you're going to give birth. So it was so fortunate that the baby arrived safely at home because Usually they're only safe in a hospital. And don't you remember that your grandma gave birth in a hospital? Your every single person on this planet's great grandma gave birth in their homes. Don't forget that. So, um, yeah, it was a really beautiful experience. Hospital? You, you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, and people are asking, what is her name? So, we named her Alive, and healthy she is. What else can I say? My phone is on 10%, so I've got to be quick. Let me see if I can think of another thing to conjure. Nope, that's it. Hope you have a great night. See you later.